All right, this is the We Miss the Exit. I am Brent. I am joined by Brian. Brian, how you doing now? I'm great. Great. Everybody's doing great. I have my dog, too, and I think we're all good. So, all right. so we have this basketball championship thing that's uh, going on between all of us, all four of us, Evan, Kurt, myself, and Brian. And Brian referred to it uh, with Rowan in the background calling it King of the Hill Tag Basketball. And I think that's a pretty good name that we're going to go with for now. Still haven't gotten it right, though. It's it's King of the Hill and Tag Your It. Oh, and Tag Your It. Oh, I, I forgot that little clause at the end, the Tag Your It. Okay. All right. That, that the, the semantics do, does make it a little bit more accurate, so you're right. So yeah. uh, just to get a, give it a quick uh, recap, what we're doing is whatever team is winning and holds the trophy, they retain that for however long that they are winning on a winning streak. So the Golden State Warriors won last season. I picked them first, and they're going to hold the trophy until a team comes out and beats them. Whatever team beats them, the trophy then goes to one of us, whoever's holding that team that beat the Warriors. And the Warriors won on Tuesday night, which is why I have a 1-0 record with them and why there's a 3. They've held it for three days. So uh, I also put this up here, Brian, if you noticed. there, I put the records here to show, hey, uh, who's doing the best and who's doing the worst. And as of right now, who would have guessed Kurt is in the lead amongst all of us so far? Yeah, I mean, it is like been, what, three days, three days. of the NBA? Yeah. So I wouldn't look too far into it. I am surprised that his only loss, actually, I'm not surprised that his only loss is the Mavericks. Um, I'm surprised Evan is 50 50 because he was, I think, I think the strongest team from the draft. I think he picked the best teams, yeah. Um, I'm very surprised you only had two wins because <laughs> I think your team is better than that. But I think, like I said, it's the third day. Well, I see it as like the 76ers are 0 2, but look who they played. They played the the Bucks and I think another strong team. I forgot who it was, but they played yeah, they're they're playing against a strong team similar to Evans Lakers. You know, they played against the Warriors and the Clippers, you know, two of the top teams. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah, anyway, that's I wish I had more than 4 wins, but I'm happy that I'm over 500. Uh, you should be happy you're not in last like me. Right. Uh so looking real quick, I don't know if you had a chance to look at your games tonight, but most of my games are against my own teams, so my record is not going to get much better uh, after tonight. Like, I have Orlando and Atlanta. I have Denver and Golden State, and I had one other oh, game. I f- yeah, I forgot. Oh, the Rockets are playing the Grizzlies, so I expect to go 2-3 and three tonight. Just 2-2 two and two because my two teams are playing against each other, but I don't see Houston beating Memphis at all tonight. That's a good way to keep track of it. Um... With what? Well, because like, it is the like king of the hill, but also the the team that uh, accumulates the most wins. Don't they get half the pot? I think it's whatever team holds the most wins or who can, whoever can hold the trophy the longest. Um, so it's whoever holds the trophy the longest between us four and then whatever team has it at the end of the season. I feel like there's got to be more ways to win because you could have a team that, you know, is 15 and three and never – cross paths with the trophy holder yeah or or also you could have a team go one and 80 and the last game of the season they beat whoever has the trophy and because they got that you know second win somebody wins half the pot yeah it seems outrageous and, and i guess this is how it goes who just joined us the rule maker himself kurt yeah what's wrong with the rules Nothing. We we're, we're, we were just talking about um some of the things that could happen like what are some of the possibilities but no this is cool there's nothing wrong with the rules. We're just trying to think about how else you can deem yourself a winner. <laughs> yeah, so we, we were talking about, Kurt, like uh, I'll go back to one of my other slides, the first one. If you look at this, uh, you are beating all of us at 6-1. and one. Like I put overall records so far. You are – Wait, what? So overall record, like I took all of our teams. This is going to blow went, your mind. I looked at the standings right now. Why like, are you, you know, doing this? Because I want to see who, who who is picking the best teams and who is not picking the best teams. Okay. And right now you are winning. But then there's no doing. point because there's no winner for that is what no, we're finding out. That's what, that's what Brian is saying. I'm doing this for my own boredom. Like I did okay. this for me. Yes. Yeah, so. I was like, I hope you don't understand. That's not even close to what the whole thing is. No, that's what Brian right. and I, I was like. You could you could have a fifty and zero win loss record, but never take See, on the trophy. Yeah. I mean the crown. And then, and then I was saying you could have a team have zero wins and then all of a sudden pull out the victory against the championship team on the last game of the season, and whoever that is wins half the pot, which is which is crazy. It's cool. I think it's a cool aspect, but it's crazy that that could happen. 
I think we should oh, have another way of with all my stuff. Okay. I didn't mess with. I put our records in there, and that's it. That's all I did. Okay. Like, I do believe it was out of pure boredom. It, it was it 100 percent out of pure boredom. I I was keeping track of the poker stats for a while, so why wouldn't I do something like this? Um. So <laughs> <laughs> what I was what I was saying, Kurt, is uh um. Look at look at some of your teams tonight that are playing, and I said, well, my team is going to suck because I have five games tonight. Four of the games are two teams going against each other that are on my roster. Orlando, Atlanta, Denver, Golden State, and then I have Houston that's going to get demolished by the Grizzlies tonight. Yeah. It's so embarrassing. You're losing at your own game, man. <laughs> I, I, I am. I'm doing terrible, but I hold the trophy. I hold the trophy, though. True. True. And that's um, important. So we should have like a trophy count. How many days, or is it how many games that you control the trophy for? Days. days. It's days. days. Yeah. yeah. So like, what about um, like All Star Weekend? Uh, All Star Weekend does not count. Okay. There's like when the season closes and when the season is back open. Yeah, yeah and I won't count All Star Break because that's just not fair. Because no one can. There's no chance of anyone taking it. Yeah, and that's why so, you see that's why you see a three next to my name, even though Golden State's only one and zero. Oh, they've had it for three days. Yeah. I see. So that's the trophy count, and then I think it would be interesting to spotlight on who potentially can get the trophy. Well, yeah, um, that's. Uh, uh, I have some posts that are supposed to go up. I just never got around to it. Uh -huh. Um. Also, I changed it to for social media. I changed it to colors. So to avoid using people's names. Oh, okay. and then I also just oh. went to the next slide and I see trophy holder. So it's like, ah, my question was answered. Oh, so, okay, nice. so I, like, I think what we're going to do is whenever we do this little show is like, you know, when the, whoever's holding the trophy, their next game, what are our predictions? And again, again, my two teams are playing against each other. So no matter what I'm holding on to the trophy, it's just, Ooh, it's that's good. Is Denver holding it, or is Golden State going to hold it? And this could play a factor with you guys, too. Like, if one of your teams matches up better against Denver versus Golden State. So, I put this here. Who do you think is going to win tonight, Brian? I'm going to go Golden State. I, I thought they looked pretty good against the Lakers. They're at home again. I think they're just really that good. Yeah, I do, too. I think they're just, just way too much firepower. And, and they're just they're older, but they're, like... They're young, but they're older, older, like young, older, like they're, they're you still, one of them hot. Them. like Clay's hot, pool's hot, Curry's hot. And it's like 40. I mean, they can put up numbers. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck. And their defense is still really good too. Um, Kurt, what are you thinking? Uh, I am thinking that uh, Denver's going to win and Ooh. then they're going to lose it to OKC tomorrow. <laughs> and OKC is not going to lose for the rest of the season, and no one else is going to get any points. Shea Gilgis Alexander was killing it. Uh, he had like 32 points the other night. He's been doing great. So uh, you may be onto something, Kurt. Yeah, I haven't watched a single thing of basketball, nor will I. Uh, let's. I, I will only look up scores to see who has the trophy. To see who has it. Yes, absolutely. Uh, oh, nobody. Ha oh, that's right, because nobody has his <laughs> OKC, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, that'd be fantastic. I was just looking, and I see that I have a new team. Oh, yeah, we finally so updated it. Spurs and Jazz. Yeah, no, I was able to figure it out. Someone went in and deleted them, and I pulled them back up. I didn't delete anything. I did uh, the uh, window shift S thing or whatever to screenshot it or whatever. Snip it. No, it was before, back when we originally talked about it. So I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure what happened. It, it was deleted a while ago. I all figured right. it out, though. It's for uh, the last place team, anyways. It wasn't for, like, yeah, <laughs> yep, you know, kind of yeah, one. Yeah, probably but a mistake. One, one of those teams could end up going, you know, 0-81 and, and win that last game. You never know. Well, it worked out for you, Kurt. Jazz picked up a win, but actually it doesn't really matter. It doesn't <laughs> matter, yeah, because it only matters in Brent's game that no one's paying attention to. And nobody Brent. cares about it except for Brent, yeah. Yeah. And um, Brent's losing at that game. <laughs> I'm so doing the, I'm yeah, doing not the even worst. Close either. Uh, yeah, so that's that's pretty much it for our, our thing that we have going on, the King of the Hill basketball. But I do have this. Uh, Brian... Evan and myself just drafted our own little fantasy ESPN league uh, team that we have going on. And me in the group chat, I'm like, you have to go centers. You have to go centers. It's, it's a center thing. You know, you have to do them early on. And Evan and I, our first two picks point guards. And we almost went Donovan nice. Mitchell in our third round pick too. Another I mean, Trey Young and Dame Willard are great picks. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was rough not to go with him. I'm like, Oh, we it, like out of, out of, you know, sure, brains, you should go with Donovan Mitchell. But I'm like, ah, Jimmy's my favorite player, so I might as well go with him. 
Nice. Yeah, uh, it's a uh, it's a lot of fun, and it's free, and um, I like the way my team looks. Uh, yeah, I yeah. was gonna ask, like, who, I, uh, who, who do you I, think was I your best pick? Win. Who do you think was one of your best picks there, Brian? I think DeMar DeRozan in the fourth pick is a strong pick. I do too. Like, I, I, I'm like, he seems to like get better with age. I'm like, there's no way he's going to have another stellar year. And he dropped like 25 and 10 or something like that last night. So I took a little bit of a risk on Tyrese Maxey, but I also like him. Um, I think my worst pick was probably like Wendell Carter or even Towns. <laughs> I reached a little bit for a center, but um, it's early. Well, Evan and I were going to go Towns if you didn't get him, and you got you went right well, coming back on the snake. You got him right before right. us, and we were going to go Towns too. And I I can't stand Carl Anthony Towns, um, a, a fantasy or I mean like in real basketball I can't stand him, but uh, fantasy he's a he's a stud, so you can't go wrong. I just with couldn't him. wait two rounds to pick. I felt like I was like I need one now. Which you guys got uh, Vucevic in the fourth, which is crazy. That's I think a really strong pick. Yeah, Evan and I were fighting over like who to get at that point, um, who to grab Oops. with him. So we ended up going with Vucevic instead of like Valanciunas, and there were like two or three others. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. We can keep track of this a little bit too. Uh, and so here is the the uh, who what would you call it like the unknown player? What would you call it like who's this guy? I don't know what I called it. Um, this is definitely not uh, King of the Hill and Tag Urit combined. This is a different game, but this is still a fun game. Name and the player. You pick the player based on the stat. Yes, name name the player based on the stats, and and you you can you know can already go ahead and start thinking about who it is. Uh, Kurt, you're still there. Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah, you're gonna have no clue who it is. Like I bet, I bet, <laughs> I even after I say who it is, you're still not gonna have any idea who it is. Probably, and it's a uh, current player. Current player. Yep. Yeah. Uh, current player. Wow. True. Current player. With yep. only a free throw. <laughs> right. Um, see, I was a fan of his a while ago. So, Brian, if you want to start thinking about who it is, you know, just yeah, a little dead air time. Yeah, he was, he was a guy that I thought had a lot of promise. He was on the team with um, my favorite player of all time, Brandon Roy. And, yep. you know, it was supposed to, uh, I was hoping it was going to be Brandon Roy, Kevin Durant, you know, but they went with Odin instead, Portland. Hmm. Um, Great Kevin pick. Durant, Brandon Roy, this guy, uh, LaMarcus Aldridge, and then imagine Damian Lillard then joining the team. That would have been a nasty, nasty Portland Trailblazers team for years. Um, yeah, so this guy left Portland on a free agent deal to go with Charlotte. And the Hornets, yeah, I'm trying to think who. Yep. And then, and then recently on the Clippers, the Clippers, didn't they win in 2021? They made the um, Western Conference Finals, I believe. Okay. I don't think they were in the finals, though. The finals, finals. Because the last few have been... Lakers were in 2020, I think. Right? Whenever COVID hit. I think they were 2020. 21 was... Um, I don't know who it was. Denver. And then who did... Who did the Bucks play recently? Oh, Golden State. Yeah. Golden State. But I thought... So the, the Clippers were 2019... Oh, they might have been. Yeah. No, no, no. It wasn't the Clippers. I don't think the Clippers have won. I think it was just Kawhi with Toronto. They must have been. That was 19, yeah. That was 19. I think hmm. so, yeah. Uh, Kurt, any idea? Can you name a small forward on Portland or the Hornets at any point? Uh, <laughs> LaMarcus Aldridge. Who is a power forward center, but at least you got a team. Here, here, Kurt. You, you're While Brian's thinking, you get to come up with a player's name, and I'll... I'll fi- I'll let you know just how close you are. No. <laughs> this is just actively helping me. <laughs> yeah, you can help him out a little bit. Like, who is it not? <laughs> just start throwing shit at the name. <laughs> That's fine. I-, I could use the help. I don't think I'm going to get it. This is tough. No? Uh, it's a and it's active, which is also driving me a little nuts. Here. Um, I'll-, I'll give you a hint. Foreign player. Foreign- like, he's not from the U.S. Okay. Um, yeah, I have was, no idea who this any any of these could be. He was he was a defensive Swiss Army knife kind of guy. Did a little did a little bit of everything, and he came in as a strong defender, but went downhill real quick. Yeah, I don't think I have it. I really don't think I know. No, all right. This this is Nicholas Batum. Yep. Wow. Okay. okay. That, that that's exactly who Kurt was thinking, right? Yeah, the name sounds familiar, but that's only from your like 
two K two streams. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. That, oh, yeah. I for, I forgot you you listened to a couple of those in the background or whatever just to check it out. Yeah, well, we, didn't we draft teams with that? Yeah, we did do that one. T oh, that's right. We did that like it was it two years ago or something like that. We did mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And it ran horribly. Yeah. Yes, it did. <laughs> Yes, it did. Is he a big, small forward? No, he's he's like six seven, I think. Um, okay. very skinny, scrawny guy. That's why uh, he played shooting guard for a couple of years. He is he um, Greek? No, French. No, French. French. Yeah, yeah. I I liked him, but then he went to. Char it seems to be something like if you go to Charlotte, you become lazy. Like I think of um, what's his face. Uh, Lance Stevenson, same thing kind of happened to him. Gordon Hayward just, I mean, Gordon Hayward's not lazy, but he just couldn't catch a break, too. Did you see the article with Giannis and Nicholas Batum? What? No. Someone had told Giannis when he was younger, like, if you keep going on this path and you keep working so hard, you could end up being, like, the next Nicholas Batum. <laughs> and he's like, if I become the next Nicholas Batum, I'm going to fly back to Greece. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. That's awesome. Right? <laughs> I mean, I mean that's, that's major shade at Nicholas Batum. Yeah, but, but he was like, nah, bro, I'm looking well past that. <laughs> but Batum, Batum's just sitting there minding his own business. All of a sudden he gets JFK'd by Giannis. <laughs> like, I don't want to be the next Nicholas Batum. Yeah, I don't feel bad for him. He's making $11 million or $10 million this year. Nicholas Batum is? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, to be like, a, what is that, 10, 10 minutes in the game, made a free throw? Yeah, I don't feel too yeah, bad. No, I don't feel too bad for him. No, no, not at all. Um, well, anyway, that's all That's all I got for this episode, if you guys want to call it quits on this. I'm good. You good? Brian, what about you? I'm good. I'll play some chess, though, or watch the right. Knicks. We, well, I'll I was going to I'll be uh, posting updates on the Instagram, so if people want to check that out, it's at We Miss the Exit on Instagram. We have an Instagram? Yep. Oh, okay. All right. I, I might have to get it back then. I was just about to say, Brent's back on Instagram. <laughs> Brent might get back on Instagram. You can watch all the funny videos I send. Oh, yay. All right. All right. Well, anyway, this is the We Miss the Exit Basketball. We might get back on next week and be able to do another update. So, all right. We'll see you guys later. later. Uh, Kurt, when are you doing your next F1 thing? Uh, maybe later. Later tonight? Tomorrow. Or tomorrow. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. All right. Well, we're signing off. Later, guys. Later.